Mrs. Muzakala, a symbol of Taliban control in the heart of Helmand. In February, U.S. commanders promised to take it back. But these pictures, filmed by an Al Jazeera cameraman in the last few days, show the tight grip of the Taliban remains. This Afghan police car, just one of several captured by Taliban fighters. This is very much a show of force. We have achieved more this year compared to last year. We are so strong now that we are able to fight the Americans in Helmand and here in Mushakala on the front line. We are better equipped and our enemies have tried to occupy our territory, but they can't. The Taliban proudly show us the town's jail, full of what they call ordinary criminals. This man's crime being the brother of a driver involved in a car crash. They each have to pay $2 a day for their food and board. It's not clear what will happen to them if they can't afford it. There are no women on the streets and very few children. Residents told our cameraman, rather than escaping from the district, families are moving to Muzakala because it offers them something they can't get elsewhere, security. Business is better since the Taliban have come. Because of robbery in the past, we couldn't go out of our homes. We couldn't irrigate our land. We couldn't go anywhere. Before the Taliban arrived, Muzakala was a British-controlled area. In October last year, the British made a peace deal with local Afghan tribal leaders. Four months later, the Taliban overran the district. A spokesman for ISAF, the NATO-led International Security Assistance Force, told me they will get Muzakala back when the time is right. We uh, have the military initiative, we set the terms of the operations, we are calm, we are cool, and uh, we will decide when we go to Muzakala. They won't be there indefinitely. The Afghan Interior Ministry here in Kabul has told me it's also planning operations to take back those Helmand districts under Taliban control. The ministry doesn't accept that people in Muzakala want to live under the Taliban. As far as it's concerned, most Afghans support the constitution and the rule of law. Until Afghan or foreign forces decide to go into Muzakala, the district will remain a Taliban stronghold. Nazani Mashiri, Al Jazeera, Kabul.